Okay, today we are going to introduce some new functionality in Para 4.0. Uh, in our original scene, we have a curve with a fixed distance between spheres. So I'll open up Para. As you can see, we have a Para node, and then we have a curve controller. I'll go back and just name this original for reference. And the first thing we're going to need to do is define what type of system we're interested. Uh, the goal of this tutorial is to have a fixed distance along a curve um, and then have that change dynamically. So if we change the curve that the number of spheres um, would adjust um, to the curve itself. So the first thing we'll need to do is define the system. And we can do that by double clicking and introducing a math controller. So within the math controller the first thing we'll need to do is define what A and B are. A is going to represent the length of the curve, and B is going to represent the distance between the elements that we're trying to define. So um, we will open up A. Oh, actually, before that, let's define the system. So uh, in the operation, we're going to want to divide A by B, right? The length by the number of items in the system. And then to end up, if we want four divisions, we're going to need five points. So the way we do that is have one plus, and we can put these in brackets. And essentially that just marks the end, so you'll end up with the correct number of spacing um, at the end of the operation. Okay, now we'll go into the operands, and then we will go uh, and essentially set the, uh, the curve. So we're going to want to open up a curve controller. and we'll want to set the parameters within the curve controller. So the first thing we'll need to do is uh, pick the object. So select the object, and then I'll select the curve. And I know that that's been selected because this now reads as line 001, whereas before it said pick curve. Um, before I leave um, the curve controller, I'd want to set the output to curve length, right? Because that's what we're interested in, curve length. And okay, so now we've just defined our curve. And we will name this curve length. OK, from here, we'll go back to the math controller. And then we'll define our custom parameter. OK, within this window, we want to make sure that the minimums are 1 or higher. We can't, we can't make that 0 or anything in the negatives. Um, in terms of the values, we can adjust that from the panel itself or from the parameter here. Um, uh, we'll also want to rename this just to keep things um, organized. So we want to name this spacing because that's essentially what the custom parameter is adjusting. Um, and this will also need to connect to the original node. And this makes it nice and easy because we know that the spacing here needs to connect to the spacing of the original um, parameter. So custom parameter connects to um, our original. And then we'll go back to our original math controller, which is driving um, this parameter. And we will name this number of items. So in my case, it's spheres, um, but you can um, define it however you'd like. So number of items. OK, so now we have our system set up, and we need to introduce the new functionality in Para 4.0. So we'll go to the Plus tab, we'll go to Add-ons, and then the Array Size. So essentially what this is going to do is going to help communicate between our original node and then the number of items in the output. So um, the first thing we'll need to do is um, define the, um, the count and the count will be directly connected to um, the number of items. And then the last thing we'll need to do is connect uh, the para node to um, the para size. As you can see, um, para automatically updated, and we can make a para node too. So this thing can control um, one or more para nodes. Um, right now, we're just going to use one. So from here, um, we're going to select the array size, and then, and then we're going to update. So if we were to go into the scene, you can see that it updated. And if I were to change the spacing, um, it doesn't, it's not doing anything now. All I have to do is enable the auto update. 
and then I can slide and you can see that it's automatically updating. But let's just say we'd like to change the original geometry. We want to change the curve. Right? So we can change this dynamically, but we'd also like to change the, um, the curve itself. So I'll go to the original array and then I'll right click on line one and that'll select my original geometry. Um, and then I'll enable um, dynamic update. Go to the modifier list, turn on the points, and I can then adjust the curve and Para will automatically update.